Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making three DIYs, which are Christmas ornaments. They are made out of polymer clay, super, super easy to make, super festive as well. Okay, so for this Christmas tree, I'm starting off with a piece of parchment paper or just wax paper, and I'm just going to make a cone out of it. I honestly didn't know how to make cones, and I just watched a tutorial to just help me out with the shape. So I kept my cone right here, this is what it looks like. Just make it stable enough so it can stand up on its own. I'm just going to take a green piece of polymer clay and I'm just going to roll it into a really really thin sausage or snake. Okay, once I have my snake, I'm just going to first make a loop in here, just so I can hang it on my tree, like that. I'm going to take my uh, cone. And then I'm just going to start rolling it. Kind of push it a bit so it can kind of um, stick to your cone. And like that. Arrange it if you want to. So the whole thing with the parchment paper and everything goes to the oven for about uh, no more than five to eight minutes but I'm not going to remove my parchment paper just yet I'm just going to wait until my figurine is uh, baked now I'm just going to cover them in this uh, setting place by Sculpey and my brush first I'm going to take some of this and then I'm just going to uh, go covering pretty much all of it why am I covering this? because I think it looks better and because I think it's going to last longer Make sure you cover the part on the bottom as well. And then I'm just going to let it dry over a piece of parchment paper so it doesn't get sticky. So I'm just going to start with a piece of uh, green polymer clay. The color is called emerald and it's by the uh, brand Scooby Tree. And I'm sorry if you hear background noise, it's my washing machine because I need to wash my clothes. So I'm just going to start by um, making a cone and I'm just going to do it like inside of my two hands. Rolling it like that. Just going to smooth the bottom part. And then I'm going to be taking my exacto knife and I'm just going to start with kind of the sign and I'm just going to be doing this cutting but not cutting and I'm using my exacto knife because I had it in there but maybe you can use like a knife or a toothpick or just some scissors something that is pointy like this just going to go all the way like that it's up to you whether you want to have like the whole thing all the way or just the front. I'm just going to go kind of all the way. Then my star, which is not gonna be actually star, is gonna be just like a piece of clay on the top, like that. Then I'm going to grab a piece of white clay. A small tip that I have for you is um, if you start working with your Christmas like I did and you start with the green clay, make sure you wash your hands if you don't want your white clay to end up kind of uh, green, green, blue, uh, what else, black, red, and all those pigmented colors are going to stain your fingers and that is going to come into your white clay, it's going to make it dirty. I'm going to be rolling this guy and then I'm going to be taking my tree and I'm just going to put it all around. Kind of as it falls, so I'm not going to be picky of where to put it. Working on my Christmas lights and all that stuff. I have here like a bunch of colors and I'm just going to place it in random places. So this is what it looks like right now. I just kept on adding more shades of clay and everything. I'm just going to take a toothpick, choose my favorite side, which means what side I want it to be in the front. And I'm just going to make a hole right in here. Being real careful, I don't want to damage the shape. You need to make a hole in order just, you know, to hang it. This goes up and this goes to the oven for according to my package instructions. And so for this one, it's going to be the same. It's going to be a bit more time consuming because you have to go through a lot of, you know, tiny spaces. But just take your time doing it. And so to hang them, I'm just going to be use a piece of ribbon and I'm just going to put it 
to that tiny hole that I did before. And then I'm just going to choose the length that I want for this. I'm going to make a knot. Once I have my knot in there, I'm just going to cut the excess real quickly. I'm going to be starting with using my white polymer clay. And I'm just going to roll it once I have done that. I am then going to be taking red polymer clay and I'm going to be working with this one as well but just a lot thinner than my previous one. I'm going to be taking my white again and I'm pretty much going to just start placing it like all around. And then I'm just going to smooth it by just rolling the whole thing again. I'm just going to make my curve like candy canes have, you know, uh, work it until you have the desired shape that you want. And then, as I did with the other ones, I'm just going to take my um, glaze, cover the whole thing. This is going to add a beautiful shine to the whole thing. It's going to make it last longer and it's going to look more realistic, I, I think, a bit more. And as you can see there in the background, I did make some other like candy canes, but I ended up not liking them at all. Maybe next year I'm going to try to make it better. And that's pretty much for this Christmas ornaments. I'm going to have some new ones next week, so just stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy them. I hope you give it a try. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it and subscribe for more stuff. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas, guys. And I find this technique to be kind of stress-free or if you're just, you know, mad at something, this is a good option for you to just relax a bit, I feel like. Maybe you're going to try and you're going to be like, I don't feel anything, but just, you know, just want to share that information just in case it can help you.